Friends of Jesus, this week we celebrate Catholic education. On the Feast of the Ascension, May 18th, which is exactly the 48th day since Easter, the resurrection of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We usually celebrate in the Roman Catholic Church is that feast day in Canada on the following Sunday. But the 48th day is actually then worldwide called Catholic Education Day. We're so grateful for Catholic education in our province, especially publicly funded Catholic education, that we may come to our schools and know that the Christ is at the center of everything that we do we begin that each and every day with a prayer, praising the Lord and glorifying our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And as we are in this season of Easter and resurrection, and as we, all the way until the feast day of Pentecost, when the Holy Spirit will be sent upon us, we give thanks to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit for the blessing of Catholic education. We can never take it for granted because we have to remember, first and foremost, that not all the provinces in Canada have publicly funded Catholic education. Alberta is one of the provinces that has publicly funded Catholic education. We're so blessed. And today we are so thankful, and throughout this week, we're thankful to God that we may come each and every day as the body of Christ and know that everything that we do is being permeated with our faith in our Lord and that he's at the center of everything that we do. Friends, I grew up in a country called Yugoslavia. Today, that there's a lot of small countries out of that one because, the civil, because of the civil war that took place in the 1990s, last century. Yugoslavia is today probably, there's many small countries and the country where uh, I would, was born and raised is Bosnia and Herzegovina. I was in grade three. My family, we were going to church, attending church, we were praying at home, celebrating sacraments, celebrating feast days in our family, with the church family, with the body of Christ. But because Yugoslavia was a communist country, faith was not to be shared publicly. It was to be kept in your home. It was to be kept in your church. As a young boy, we were doing a quiz or a test. And just before, in grade three, and just before we started, I made the sign of the cross. My teacher saw what I did. And later on, she used that as an example to put faith, to put God, down to shame what I did in a sense to let all the other children that God truly does not matter because that's what communism teaches that God does not matter but you and I we know that God matters and that he is our Savior our Lord who loved us so much that he became one of us in the person of Jesus Christ who was born as a baby in Bethlehem and then grew up as a man and then taught and preached and healed, shared the message of the Lord of the good news, and then at the end gave his life for us on the cross. And then on the third day he rose from the dead so that we may know that our God loves us and that he is always there for us and that he chose to save us so that one day we may be with him in heaven forever. We're redeemed, we're saved because of the cross and resurrection of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. As we celebrate Catholic education throughout this week, let us remember to come before the Lord and thank him for all the blessings. Yes, especially the blessing of the Catholic education. We're so blessed, we're so grateful that we have Catholic education in our schools, that we can come together, yes, and pray 
and come together as the body of Christ and know that Christ is at the center of everything that we do. So, as we are still in the month of May, we come before our Heavenly Mother and we ask her for intercession that she may always guide our schools as she is the mother of our Edmonton Catholic schools. And we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen.